Hi, I'm Eric Lenask. We are here at IT Expo Austin 2012, and I'm talking today with Tim Burke. Tim is the president and CEO at Quest. Tim, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's great to have you on the program. Thanks to be here, Eric. Uh, so some, a lot of exciting stuff going on. Uh, you were just telling me uh, off camera a little bit about um, what Quest has been doing in, specifically in the desktop as a service yes. environment. Yes. Well, we've been doing managed services for a long time directly within users mm -hmm. probably for the last 10, 12 years. Uh, here in the last year, we have acquired the managed services capability for the desktop as a service through a company called Destone, which is a leader in desktop as a service. They decided to move out of the actual services business and concentrate on the software. And so we've acquired uh, their capabilities, many of their customers, and now we're making those customer services available to other service providers and uh, growing that business. So that's a bit of a first for us. I think there are uh, a couple of different terms, there maybe three of them that, that are used out in the industry that, uh, as best as I can tell, cause a little bit of confusion. Um, a lot of desktop confusion. as a service, uh, VDI, and uh, virtual desktop, uh, yes. well, I think those two are this more or less the same. What, what's the difference between virtual desktop and desktop as a service? Um, a lot of times there, there isn't a lot of difference. One, one main, main difference is are you going to stand it up as, in yourself? Are you going to do a VDI solution and deliver that from your own data centers as an end user customer to your community? Uh, desktop as a service is more specific to a hosted solution that instead of doing it yourself and standing it up yourself, you're going to utilize a third party to help you stand that up, create the image, and deliver it to your, your end users. How much adoption are you seeing uh, in terms of uh, desktop as a service? Well, in the general concept of virtualization, it's becoming very, very big, especially as customers are trying to look at ways to deliver alternatives to the way they've been doing it. Um, it, we're seeing great adoption as desktop as a service in this specifically a result of a lot of companies are trying to stand it up internally and, and meeting with a lot of problems. So as a result, the idea that I'm going to be able to provide it to somebody else and have them make, make it happen for me is becoming very big. So specifically, what are some of the, uh, the challenges that folks are facing as they try to do it themselves? Well, there's a infrastructure issues, the idea of can I really virtualize this application? Is this application really going to work in this kind of, in the idea of building the, what's called the image? And can I build that image correctly? Can I deliver it correctly? Can I establish the latency issues that are a part of that, the storage issues, the security issues? It's a very, and can be a very complex area. And a lot of companies many times are focused on other things and may not have the talent to add this new capability to their repertoire and as a result have some major challenges with it. So is it really a, a technology issue or is it a, a staffing or a uh, uh, expertise question? It, a lot of times it's an expertise question uh, because there's so many different parts and pieces mm -hmm. of technology that have to work in, in order for it to work and if you don't have that expertise in-house, the idea that if I can have someone who does have that expertise that will help significantly. What's the biggest selling point for uh, desktop as a service? Well, I, th I think once you get past the idea of how much does it cost per month, and, and uh, one of the issues that we see a lot is infrastructure and desktops have always been a bit of a thorn in the side of a lot of uh, IT organizations. And who's going to support them? How's it going to work? How are we going to keep them secure? What are all the things that are going out? on the uh, people's desktops. So, so now if I can control that centrally and have someone do it for me, that tends to really get people interested in, in doing it that way. And what about for the end user? What are the benefits for the end user? Well, the end user gets a consistent deliverable. There is, there is pushback from end users, don't, don't get me wrong. They, they like their desktops, they like all the things they're doing, they like uh, maybe out surfing and, and uh, out watching Netflix, but many companies don't necessarily think that's what they should be doing at their desktop level, so that can be controlled. So there is pushback at the, at the end user level, but the end user gets a consistent deliverable and uh, has something that is there. And one of the big benefits we have are the mobile users. Mobile users, it's huge. Uh, you can deliver this capability. They can be anywhere. They can be on their, their Android device. They can be on their uh, iPad and, and be anywhere in the world and have capability that they usually had only had at their desktop. And that's becoming the, one of the big selling points, specifically for a mobile workforce. 
And you know, you mentioned tablets, you mentioned uh, uh, smartphones, really extending some of the capabilities that you maybe have had on your laptop in remote situations to any device. So right. The whole can, BYOD environment. Yeah, absolutely. I can, be, I can be right here. You have yours in your hand. Uh, you can be right on your desktop and doing what you need to be doing. I can be in a client space. I can be mobile. I can be a, a worker that needs to go out to a, a facility. I can have that desktop. I can have all those capabilities right there. That, that's huge for uh, the desktop as a service. It really kind of comes down to um, some of the big things that businesses in general are focusing on, productivity enhancements, process efficiencies, right. things like that. A lot of productivity enhancements. We're seeing uh, sales organizations having huge productivity enhancements. The whole idea, well, I can't really update my CRM because I got to get back to the office. I got to do this. I got to. No, you don't. You're right there. You're either on a wireless connection, wherever you're at, but you can tie right back to your desktop. Excellent. Well, uh, Tim, thanks so much for joining us on the program. It's been a pleasure. Great. Thank you for having us.